I am the product of Africa and had long a cherished dream. The children of Africa are the most valuable treasure that Africa will ever possess. It is they who are destined to preserve the environment of our continent and keep it as a home for the people of Africa. In many parts of Africa, our children are victims of famine, disease, and man-made violence. The blight of a neo-colonialist manipulation. You know, Africa produces 50% at the very least of the world's population of refugees. And many of those are children. We cannot afford this wanton uh, waste of our human resources. When, when you see children, uh, the innocent victims of war and repression. We need to stop fighting each other and stop the wars. It is our responsibility as citizens of this great continent to take urgent steps and create conditions to nurture our children's potential. They are the future leaders. Our proactive, constructive, efforts for their welfare are essential. Our children are the future of that continent and elsewhere because they are the leaders of tomorrow and they need all the help they can get in education and everything and the support they can get from all of us to be better leaders tomorrow for them to sit and look at their counterparts from other parts of the world and not feel inferior and feel proud. And we owe that to them. and strife because nothing is is more precious in life waste wind with your splendor take my people by the end spread your glory sunshine unify Unify my precious land. Unify us, don't divide us. Unify us, don't divide us. We don't need that now, Lord. Let us not fight over trivials. Let us learn how to love ourselves first because the unification is the thing now I said the unification 
is the thing now. Even in Europe, they are talking about unity and European security now. Well, uh, let us talk, let us talk about our own unified Mother Africa, yes. Unify my precious land. What's up, all you deaf kids out there? This is the comic strip show on Radio KIDS, and I'm dying to hear from you. Come on, tell me a joke. Do I, I have a caller on the line? Paul, is that you? Yes. And what's your subject today? Well, the subject is history. Where did King George sign the Magna Carta? Hoo-hoo, we have a tough kid on the line. I don't know. Where did he sign the Magna Carta? At the bottom. <laughs> We have a deaf kid out there. I mean, I wouldn't like to meet her in a dark alley. Ooh, I have another caller. Vusi, are you there? Hi, Vusi, how you doing? Okay, that was a really tough one. Anyway, okay, you're still with radio. KIDS and the deaf kids for the deaf show. Now, don't forget, it's holiday season, and watch where you kick that ball, and don't take sweets from strangers. Jolene? Wow, look at all the colors. Mice. I hate mice. Yuck. I can hear something. What? Creepy. Look at all the dust. It's Mother Mary. Don't be stupid. Look over there. 1948. As old as my grandfather. Oh, wow. 